Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic, epic unboxing. So we got this box right here, literal unboxing, and it's got a bunch of, if you can't see right there, a bunch of Bakugan in it. So yeah, man, the hype is big time for this one. So going to give a big shout out to my friend uh, Steve, you know, I'll just go by like, his actual name. Um, you know, he's a big time fan of the channel and such, and he's really into the game and such. Uh, but yeah, definitely big thanks for helping me get my hands on some of these Bakugan. So yeah, um, obviously there's some Wave 2 stuff in here. Uh, my local store is it's actually like doing pretty well stocking Bakugan. It's just like everything going on too. I'm like, I'll check one more time uh, for a little while. And they actually had some pretty good stuff. And I actually got like the, the good stuff that was there. You know, a couple of things I didn't have. But yeah, now just getting into uh, some more stuff. So let's see here. Um, there is... There's a note in here. Okay, let's see here. So, yeah, you see it says Kimbo 317. That's when it was, you know. It's just been a little bit because I've, I've had to relax a little bit, you know, because mental stuff. But, yeah, um, I'm all good now, you know. Anyways, uh, let's see here. Uh, Kim Kimbo. It's 1220 a.m. and I am finishing paperwork and decided to write you a note. Enclosed, you will find your Season 2 cores and Ultras and a Red Dragonoid truck. Yo, hopefully they fare the trip well. Also enclosed, you'll find a self-addressed stamped envelope. Card protector to send one of your promo cards. Told them I'd send them, like, some cards. And I, uh, you know, I have no issue with that. I'm actually running low on Kimbo cards. I'm, I'm going to have to get some more uh, printed and such. So, yeah. You know, I'm actually running pretty low on them. I hope they're just being taken care of because I've given them to quite a few people. Uh, especially, like, a lot of you guys. But, yeah. If you could please sign it where there's no print and send it, that would be awesome. I do that with every single one. No worries, man. Um, let's see. If you could show it signed on air, give a shout-out to Steve and his son, Dylan, from Lafayette, Indiana. That would be even more awesome. Well, yeah, you know, Steve and uh, Dylan. His son, Dylan, is a big-time fan of the channel. And Dylan, definitely appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Both of you and Steve, just thanks so much for even supporting the channel. It means a ton. Um, but, yeah, um, we enjoy your content. Keep on grinding. And maybe with any luck... Uh, and no other stuff going on. Uh, we'll catch you in Chicago. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, be safe out there. Uh, people getting goofy by the day. Thanks again, Steve and Dylan. Yeah, of course, man. Um, well, thank you so much for writing the note. Uh, definitely appreciate it, you know, and hopefully going to Chicago. Because, I mean, there's the Chicago, uh, toy fair supposed to be going on. You know, obviously just grinding for all the events and such. You know, as of now, still going on. Hopefully, um, but... You know, time will tell with them, obviously, but still going to be grinding regardless. So, yeah, man, uh, there is a bunch of stuff in here. And I also people are just like, Kimbo, get on with it. I mean, if you can't understand, these are from fans. and just giving them big shout-outs and stuff. Then, I don't know what to tell you, man. You know, don't be, don't be a jerk. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways, um, let's see here. Ooh. One of them I actually, like, do have, so I'll put it off to the side. But... Uh, wow, there's there's a lot of them in here. Okay, so we're just going to start off with this one. We'll start off with a core, um, and that's going to be this. Arliss Auxilator, dude. Oh, man. So, yeah, we're in, we're in Wave 2 territory. Definitely hype about it. Just big-time hype. Uh, you know, I even got my hands on Wave 2 Bakugan. Just totally honored. And, again, thank you, Stephen Dillon. But it looks really, really sick, dude. Um, Aji is, like, he's basically the Arliss Brawler of the season, at least thus far. At least the first Arliss Brawler ever. Uh, I think that makes it where he'll probably, like, they'll probably introduce other Arliss Brawlers uh, during the duration of the season. It would make sense. But, uh... Yeah, man, Arliss Auxilator, looking so cool. So Pharaoh's his main Bakugan, probably Auxilator would be a secondary one. But it looks a lot like Drago. It looks like a kind of like a more razored out version of Drago, if you know what I mean. Like, you know, like a more metal version of it. But yeah, because it looks like it's just steel. But it looks really, really cool, dude. But uh, there's the artwork on the back. One Bakugan, two cores, character card, collectible training card, all that good stuff. And they show Bakugan of this wave. So this is definitely wave two. Um, diamond Nilius, that's the diamond. And you know, gonna be on the lookout for that, man. Uh, if I could somehow, some way, get my hands on it. But Nilius, uh, Chaos Drago, Pyrus Cycloid, Chaos Hollow Core, Darkest Trox, Ventus Nilius, um, Aqua Centipod, and Arliss Auxilator. Those are the cores for wave two. So, yeah, a lot of them. <laughs> but anyways, time to open it up and just see what Auxilator is all about. There we go. Get those cores. 
but then garbage, and then, uh, uh, okay, there we go, get that, you gotta get this tape off of there, you got it, we got it, yo, alright, this is actually going really smoothly, don't change yourself, Kimbo, alright, here we go, and then plastic strip, and <laughs> that's where uh, the head button comes in, but uh, just kidding, it wasn't too bad. But yo, Auxilator, it looks so cool, man. I wonder if they're going to make an Ultra for it. But it looks really, really sick as a core. I can imagine them doing an Ultra for it in a future wave. Just putting it out with the regular one for now. Um, But yeah, actually, I'll put that out to the side. We'll get to the Gate Trainer card first. Obviously, they're help, they, these are meant to help you with your roles and such. They are going to bring back Gate cards, and they're going to be for the standard way of playing. And then the cores being for the pro way of playing. You know, they're really uh, differentiating them now. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, turn to the back. There's Ajit. He's the Arliss Brawler. And there's Feral, his partner. So, yeah, man. Just looks so, so sick, man. All right. And, uh, now we have, uh, fucking words. We got the two cores, which are both shields. So, let's see. This one, minus 300. That's a really good trap for your opponent. Um, and then we've got plus 200, so that's a pretty good boost, you know. Um, my ideal one, I mean the strongest one, at least B-Power-wise, is 300. I'd say the best one now is 300 and one le uh, energy cost less for a Baku gear. I'd say that's probably the best one now, but uh, yeah, I just had to move the box. My goodness. Okay. So, uh, next up, we've got Auxilitar, dude. Look at this ball form. It looks so... So cool. I dig it big time. He's got like the little body, but also the horn right there. Does the horn uh move up or anything, or is it just in there? Let's see. It looks like it's manual. I just don't want to be wrong and just like force it, you know. Let's see here. No, it is manual. Okay. So, yeah, it's got a smaller horn than Drago. It's got like the three horns right there. My voice just cracked, but it's all good. Got the arms sticking out right there. Um, got the little legs that go forward. All the gold looks so amazing. Yo, the metallic gold on the wings, and plus the wings in general, looks so cool, man. This is like Drago's cousin. It looks like Drago's cousin anyways, but yeah, um, just so, so sick. But uh, yeah, man, it seems like it's going to be pretty simple to close. Um, where is the B-Power? Where is it hiding at? Where is it hiding at? If I can find it. Is it on the wings? It's not on the inside of the wings. Oh, it's right there. Uh, let's see. Is it... Let's say 300. That does say 300. Okay, so right there, 300 Bs. All right, so I mean, you know, it can get up to a max of like 600 and, uh, you know, maybe just using some other cores for damage. It would probably be more useful for like a damage deck, but yeah, because the B power doesn't get up like too, too crazy. But yeah, unless they switch up like some of the cards that they have for like Arliss and also just available cards. But yeah, I don't have any Armored Elite. Like I haven't seen much of it. So, um, you know, all the cards, the specific cards, like, that are really, really good. Not too sure about right now, but hopefully soon get my hands on Armored Elite. Hoping big time, dude. But anyways, let's see, uh, the way to close this thing. So, okay, um, you fold it back. Whoa, that's crazy. Um, you fold it back, the wings go in, the feet go in, and then the top goes in. Yo, that's actually really simple. You literally just fold it back and then just close it up. But yeah, that's what Auxilator uh, looks like in the ball form. It looks really good. Imagine it with just darkest, like the dark. Like imagine it being black and then having the purple on the wings. That would look so sick. Or in Chaos, too. Or in Pyrus. That would look really cool, dude. But yeah. Anyways, I guess we're going to go with uh, the quick opening action for Auxilator. And then look at the card. So, 3, 2, 1. Bakugan, bro. Hey, got it. You know, I spin roll the cores a lot. And let's see how strong its magnet is. Oh, Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. If you're careful with it, maybe you could pick up two. But yeah, you gotta that's a big if, you know, it's gotta be careful with it. Um, but now we've got the actual card for it. So there's Auxilator looking so so sick, man. It looks really, really cool. But B power of three hundred damage of six. I'm honestly surprised they didn't give it like five hundred uh for the B power. But yeah. So since it doesn't have, like, the craziest amount of B-Power, it's probably more set off for, like, a damage deck, you know, because having all that damage with it, you know. 
but yeah, man, still a really, really awesome looking Bakugan. I do. Do I wish it was like a little bit stronger? Maybe. I wish they would have gave it like a magic shield because I only got up to 950. But still, it's just so, so sick looking. And also, this should be pretty useful for a damage deck. I really, really hope that with uh, Armored Elite onwards, you know, like with the Season 2, they really put out uh, some damage deck setup cards. You know, like how there was like Mac and... And mock might might have sent you know those set up for uh, damage decks i really really hope they add a lot of those cards in because that alone will switch up things big time and i mean mac mock decks do switch up things big time but there just needs to be more i think uh cards added that do that but yeah dude anyways that is it for this review on this awesome awesome bakugan armored alliance arliss auxilator and again thank you so much uh dylan and steve for just helping me out with some of the Wave 2 Bakugan. Definitely appreciate it big time. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be on the hunt for uh, that Diamond Nilius for sure. Because it looks so sick, dude. It looks really, really cool. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content. Because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, till next time, it's your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Till then, stay awesome and Bakugan Pro. I'm up out of here.